Hello, Jessica from the E-Rank team here, and today I'm showing you our updated E-Rank Sidekick. Now, this is an extension that you can get through the Google Chrome store, and it's only been heavily tested on Chrome, so we highly recommend you using it on that browser. Once you go to the Chrome store and get it installed, you'll be able to pin it to the top of your screen. So you'll see it's this little orange button here. It is only orange when you are on a website that you are able to use it for. So you are able to use it on Etsy.com and within some of E-Rank's tools. It does not work on other websites or platforms. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can see when you're using Sidekick while on Etsy. So I'm on the Etsy homepage right now, Etsy.com. I haven't typed in anything into the search bar yet. I'm going to click the little orange button and it'll open the Sidekick on the right hand side of my screen. I can expand it to take up more space if I want to, but most of the time I'm just going to kind of leave it the default size on the right hand side here. So on Etsy's homepage, first thing it'll show you are the hot trending keywords that are hot on Etsy right now. It'll sort it by relative popularity with the hottest keywords at the top. Scrolling down, you can see that the bar gets smaller and smaller. That means that it is less popular than the keywords at the top. Since Halloween is coming up, I'm going to type in a Halloween related keyword so we can do some research for Halloween items. Let's do Halloween earrings. So I'm going to type Halloween earrings into the search bar. And once the page has fully loaded, you'll see the regular search result page from Etsy. And in the sidekick, you'll see a whole bunch of great information. So first here at the top, we'll see the keyword statistics for whatever you typed into the search bar. So for this example, it's showing the statistics for the keyword Halloween earrings. So you'll be able to see average searches, clicks, click-through rates, and the competition for this keyword. You'll also be able to see a search trend graph from the past 15 months of data that we have. So you'll see big spike in September, but a lot of searches in August and October as well. This makes sense as people are usually shopping for these sorts of holidays a month or two in advance. You'll also be able to see where in the world the searches are coming from. The majority are going to be from the US uh, for this keyword, but it looks like United Kingdom, Australia, and France also have searches for this keyword as well. If we scroll back up a little bit, you'll see that stats is highlighted because that's what it shows you first, but then you can also click on listings, tabs, tags, and shops. So I'm going to click listings and it is going to show me stats of the full title and all the tags as well as the estimated views and sales for the listings that are on the search result page. So you'll see that they line up. This is some cookie earrings. These are the cookie earrings. You'll see these ghost and pumpkins. Here are the ghost and pumpkins. Um, so it'll show you those and then what you can do if you get totally struck by inspiration and you're like, oh man, I have something similar to this in my shop or I was going to make something similar to this in my shop. You can click this little copy button here to copy all of the tags and then paste them either into a new listing or you could paste them into something like a keyword list tool um, where you would be able to save all of the data for those keywords. That's over on E-Rank. <laughs> So we can see lots of great information here about the top ranking listings for that keyword. We can also click on tags and this will show us the most popular tags that are being used on this search result page. So as you can see, Halloween earrings tops the list, which makes sense because that's the keyword that we typed in. We also see Halloween jewelry, ghost earrings, Halloween spooky earrings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you also can copy directly from here or if you have keyword list open, as you can see, I have E-Rank demo down here. You can click the star and have it added to whatever current keyword list you have open. So if I click ghost earrings, it'll turn the star different color and now it's been added to my keyword list. This is a great time saver if you're just trying to do some keyword research on Etsy and then save a bunch of keywords for later, this is a great feature to use for that. You also could click copy all tags. However, it's going to show you a lot more than 13 tags. So this would be a better feature if you're maybe 
using a keyword list or you have your own personal spreadsheet that you want to keep track of keywords in, you could use this feature for that as well. Going back to the top, we can click on shops. So this is going to show the shops that have listings on this search result page. It'll show you the shop name, it'll show you how many listings they have on this page and how many ads they have on this page. So as you can see, it doesn't seem to be dominated by one specific shop. There's a, looks like there's one to maybe two, including ads for each shop listed here. So that's great. That's showing that there isn't one or two shops that's totally dominating, meaning that there's room for you too. If we go to a specific shop, so let's just pick, let's pick these bestseller earrings because they've already been flagged a bestseller. So if I click on a listing, it'll show you the listing statistics. So this will give you the full title, which you can expand if you like. It'll show you estimated sales, revenue, and conversion rates. Keep in mind, these are estimates. Um, we don't have access to exactly the number of sales and exactly the monetary amount. So it's a, just a general guideline. Um, it also shows you the views, the listing age, and other stats for this, this uh, particular listing. And then you can also click on tags and see the tags that are being used for this listing. Again, you can copy them if you like or star them for a keyword list if that's something else that you would rather do. If you see that the title is clickable, what you can do is you can click on it and it will bring you to eRank's listing audit page for that listing. This is a great place to see additional data about this listing, including the full description, again with the tag analysis, you can see the attributes, categories, materials, et cetera, et cetera. This is a great way to do research as well. I'm gonna X that out. So now if we go into the shop, so I'm going to click the shop name to go to the full shop. This is gonna show you the sales history for this shop, their total sales, and their ranking. I can also click on tags and see the most commonly used tags from this store. We can also click on listings and similar to the Etsy result page, this is going to show me the same stats about this listing and the same information in order. So it has the little ghosts that look like sheets first, it's got the pumpkins next, it's got the flat ghosts next, et cetera, et cetera. Still going to show the full title, all the tags, and the estimated views and sales for each item. So this is a great way to really quickly do a whole lot of research while you're on Etsy. Let's click on something else. Let's click on home favorites and we'll see what pops up here. So when you're in a category page, it isn't exactly specific enough for the sidekick to load a lot of data because it's chunked into categories here. So what we can do is we can click on a subcategory here. Let's click on home decor and we will be brought to the home decor search result page. So you'll see home decor is filled in at the top here. So now we're on an actual search result page. And we again, will get the keyword statistics for this keyword. We'll get the search trends. We can see the stats and the titles and tags for the listings, the overall commonly used tags, and the shops that have listings on this page. So as you can see, there is so much you can do with the sidekick. There's even more that I haven't shown you because there is just so much to explore and we are constantly thinking of different ways to improve it, add more tools, tweak existing ones, all based on the feedback of our users. So we would love for you to give the sidekick a try and give us feedback, let, you, let us know how we're doing with it and where we can improve and we really hope that this tool helps you do your keyword research more efficiently, quicker, and with the most up-to-date statistics possible. We also look forward to helping you on your Etsy journey. Have a great day.